If you like the content that we're pushing out, please like, share, and of course subscribe. And let us know in the comments what you think about our videos. Like, why would you watch it and not tell us what's going on? And I hope to see you later on. Peace out. Alrighty then, so uh, welcome to another Alternative Factuals video. And this week is, uh, you know, we finally got this light skin, this, this light skin goddess here. I said goddess because, you know, he's a female. Oh, you know? shit. And the light skin goddess. And, you know, we got eight ball, black magic, darkness, and dynasty guys coming <laughs> to the top. To the top. Little fun fact, though. I was just watching Psycho a couple hours ago. Yeah. They have it on Amazon Prime. It's another one on Netflix. So, you know, anyways. So, Daredevil Season 3 is going to have Bullseye as their villain. But they also have Fisk as well. Yeah, so uh, two of them. this is going to be a pretty fun little, you know, little chat. You know, oh, we're we'll yeah. trying, you know, get straight to the point. Maybe reduce some of the side ranting. Maybe not. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> let's see how the shit but, goes. Um, let's let's see how it goes. You know, because today is Saturday, and um, yeah, so let's let's go forward with the conversation. Yeah. So as we already know, in seasons one and two, you know, we have uh, Matt Murdock, the blind lawyer, aka Daredevil, who has a fighting skill of a beast. Yeah. And uh, some of the best fight scenes in, first of all, yes. Dwight is already making a face. <laughs> Dude, the best fight scenes in all I'm the fucking saying, Netflix. Daredevil's not my. It's not my. But why? Scene. It wasn't. It wasn't there for me. But what didn't captivate you about this show? Like, there's a lot of character development. There yeah, was there was so OD good. action, bro. Yeah, dude. Oh, that staircase fight oh, scene in season bro. two I was lost. epic. Oh, like yes. he just leaned like fifty I mean, I people. I didn't even like, get to season two. Really. But you know, I got to I got a couple episodes in, but it's not. It's, uh, that yo, bro, it's the, pretty blood to me. Nah, you bugging man. The one thing I never <laughs> understood about that that stereo scene at the end, when he just like you can tell he's breathing really hard. He just fought like a hundred dudes. How the fuck did he have the energy to do that one backflip? That like kind of threw me off. But other than that, that fight scene was fucking amazing. I mean, it's called uh, Runner's High. So basically, he was exhausted, and then he had a nice increase of endorphins, which allowed him to endure despite him feeling fatigued. Dude, he was fighting for like 10 minutes straight, like 30 dudes. First of all, I, I'm pretty sure it was like a good 40 or 50. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, was mad, yeah. you know, it was mad dudes, bro. <laughs> it, it was, was so mad good. people in that hallway. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, first of all, why y'all all chilling in the hallway? It's like... They were just waiting for him. They just knew, like, yo, he's going to come at this specific time. And, yeah, yeah, same yeah. with uh, season one, too, that uh, hallway fight scene. That was pretty dope, too, oh, with, dude, uh, like, with the Russians. So I don't know how he didn't enjoy that. Like, that was some of the best fighting in yeah. all three of the Marvel Netflix shows. Yeah. Obviously, Iron Fist being completely oh, trash. So. And, Don't get uh, me started on that shit. Yeah, that's like a Too whole. Bad. Iron Fist is the best one. <laughs> no, let me stand. I'm not going to that We already lost five subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> but um, a lot of people are speculating for season three that Wilson Fisk is actually going to find out Matt Murdock's you yeah, know, yeah. whole Daredevil identity because, mm -hmm. you know, that's what happened in the comics. Eventually, he found out. Then the he sent Bullseye to, you know, well, actually, Bullseye came after Wilson Fisk, but then sent Fisk after Matt Murdock. Whatever, you know. You yeah. pretty much get the gist. But I don't know. That would be a little fun little thing to see him actually find out his identity. Like he's blind, bro. Like how is he fighting people and he cannot see? Yeah. So that would be uh, that would be nice and juicy. But it's crazy how I mean, in the comic books, uh, Karen she actually uh, she got like really high or some shit like that doing drugs, and she gave the name. She gave uh, uh, the Daredevil's name to her dealer, and then her dealer, then the dealer like told Fisk or some shit like that, and then that's how he found out like who. Uh, I'd see yeah, her was. as being a nice little junkie. Like she's she's she just a little too attractive. Yeah. Like, first of all, I found her hot since like True Blood. Like she can get it. Like <laughs> all the way get it. But anyways, I mean, I wouldn't even pull out. Like it'll just be like <laughs> you just gotta risk it. You just gotta be like you Fuck know it. what, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm absolutely okay with that nice red hand. And you see her a nice like smooth and perfect teeth. Oh. <laughs> okay. But um. Anyway. But I. <laughs> I can definitely see her being a nice little junkie in yeah, season yeah. in season three, so that would definitely uh, be a nice little character development for her. But I, I don't really, I'm not really attached to her, so no, that would give me a reason to kind of have stakes in her. But go ahead. Um, I just hope that they don't kill off Bullseye in um, season three. I feel like maybe they should hopefully develop the uh, character throughout se the season three, and then maybe have him as the main villain in like season four or some shit like that. Because if you have you know Fisk as the uh, main big dude is just like man this guy's fucking crazy why well, don't need another villain right now you know yeah i mean uh but i think ultimately fisk is the villain well I, like you said fisk is the villain for this year yeah, yeah. 
and well for this season and um eventually i think i, I honestly don't think they would kill off bullseye it's just hopefully it, not it wouldn't make any logical sense like he's yeah, someone yeah. you can bring back where he can have his own personal motives for wanting to fight daredevil and all that good stuff yeah, so he kept getting his ass handed to him that's why right and then <laughs> even the what made the what was it that 2003 daredevil with ben affleck the yeah, reason yeah. why like believe it or not it got like such mixed reviews was because they kind of the way they depicted him was actually pretty uh i, I like the way they did it like yeah. um, when bullseye missed and then it seemed like he yeah. was actually going crazy like i missed like what? Yeah, yeah i've never missed and then mm -hmm. it's just like he at that point it was no longer about the contract it was like i have to kill this dude to yeah. prove to myself yeah, that yeah. i can kill him yeah that's what he wanted to uh do like he just wanted to fight daredevil so he can like build reputation in the underground so people can hire him as a mercenary and shit like that but um Eventually, Daredevil just kept kicking his ass, kept kicking his ass to the point he's just like, oh, I, I fucking hate this dude. I want him dead. And also, uh, Fisk had a uh, bullseye like go after Daredevil and all that shit. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I mean, how do you how do you feel about season three, Dwight? You know, I mean, as someone who has I'm not still even struggling gotten... with season two. <laughs> Dude, season two is great, man. I keep watching because you know what I fucking love is like there's two stories always like. With season one, with that, like with the hand, I had no idea that shit was gonna uh, was gonna come. It's just like what the fuck, like a completely different story, like a uh, the secret wars that um, what's his name, Stitch was talking about. But uh, yeah, season three is gonna be great, man. And I, I definitely uh, agree. You need to definitely catch up to that season three. Yeah. I think yeah, like I think I said, season one it was it was really eh. Season two, I don't know what about it. It's just I, I couldn't even. I had to stop. I'll get back to it for season three, you know. Yeah. For the fans. Yeah. I'll give y'all a nice, nice juicy review. <laughs> but um, I mean, yeah. I, I think I know probably what didn't really get you captivated. It, I, I, me personally, I felt like it was a little slow for a couple episodes. But you know it's necessary because it was an origin season. And then he didn't even get the costume till what, like the last the episode? last episode, yeah. So I mean, I get it. You know, it's not like it's you know unmerited, but you know, I think you should stick it out at least for the fight scenes. And then season two, yeah, that's when things really get yeah. like juicy. Cause you got the Punisher too. But I, I just like how Daredevil yeah. kind of reminds me of uh, Batman in a way, just the way how he handles shit. I feel it's like ever since Batman came out, a lot of people have been trying to take that Batman take on Arrow. Yeah. Even, you know, like, um, what's that name of that other show? Uh, it's, it's escaping me right now. But Which one? It's going to pop up on the screen right about now. So, you know, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. If I don't remember <laughs> yeah. something, it's always going to pop up on the screen. But, um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people wanted that Batman take. Like, when in reality, Matt Murdock was never that Batman-esque kind of guy. Yeah. He was just like, a, I'm a lawyer by day. I'm a fighter by night. And I'm but blind. You know why they call him the Daredevil, right? Like when he jumps off like these buildings, he literally just jumps off. He doesn't know yeah, where. He can't he, see. He's, he's gonna, gonna see he's gonna find he's gonna out where he's gonna land. Like literally, like, last literally second. Like second. Yeah, and that's, that's thus why he has that little cane that can extend just yeah. in case last minute. Like, oh, there's a thing of spikes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, but you know, if you're if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe and let us know your thoughts about Daredevil season three and uh, Bullseye. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, Zaddy. Toodles.